Hi everybody, I'm going to show you a short core workout today that will strengthen your abs and just work your whole body really. This is for all of you ladies who are getting ready to go to the beach and you've realized that you might want to get in a little better shape, you might not have time to go to the gym. This workout requires no weights, no equipment, just a mat and your body. So let's get started. All right, let's start in a side plank position. So you wanna lift your hips and you're coming up on your, on your arm. Make sure your shoulder's comfortable. You wanna lift, so you're on your right arm, lift your left arm and you just wanna push up. And we're gonna do 15 of these on each side. You wanna isolate your abdominal muscles and keep squeezing your stomach in. Keep those hips lifted, this is a really short move um, and you can really feel it in your obliques so five four three two one and switch sides so keeping your hips lifted and push up isolating your obliques Last two and one. And come down, take a short stretch into child's pose. And then coming back up to a plank position. You wanna keep your hips lifted and you're gonna alternate coming down on your elbow. So start with your right and then your left and then back up on your right, back up on your left. And then down, keeping your hips lifted the whole time. Keep your core tight. Take this slowly if you find it's too much. You can always come down to your knees. And five more. Keeping your hips lifted. You can do this. And two. And one back down to your knees. One more long stretch into child's pose. And then coming back up to a, to a plank position. And then taking your right foot, you're gonna place it on the side under you and coming up, pushing your hips to the sky. Take this slow so you can keep your form. And that was three of 15. You can do this. Just keep going. Know you're gonna be glad you did when it's over. And five more on each side. And four. And three. And two. And last one. And then coming back into child's pose. And then back to all fours. Take a seated position and then come to your elbows. So there are two ways you can do this exercise. You wanna bring your knees in so you can either tap one toe at a time. This is for lower abs. Or you can pull your knees in and straighten. You really feel this in your lower abdominals. If you get tired, 
You can always alternate feet in five, four, keep those abs squeezed in tight, and two, and one. And lie all the way back on the mat. Take a big stretch. Then pull your knees in and just hug in for a minute. And then you want to take your arms out into a T. Your legs go straight up and then let them fall first to the right. Doing your best to keep your shoulders on the ground. And then to the left. Take this slow, working obliques. And two more. And back to the top, pull your knees in. Just hug in a little, roll around. And then legs go straight back up into the air. And just a little push alternating your left, left arm to your right foot, your right arm to your left foot. And five, four, three, two, and one. And pull your knees in one more time. And then back over into a plank position on your elbows. You want your hips lifted. Your gaze is right between your fingers. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, take your legs out to the right. This is working your obliques for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to center and off to the left for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, back to center and take child's pose. Stretching out. And coming back to a seated position. We're gonna end it with an oblique twist. This doesn't look like much, but it does really work your obliques. So your hands go to your head, your elbows out, your spine is tall and just twist. In five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch your legs out, take a deep breath in, and just let it go. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helps you to get in shape for summer. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Instagram at Crazy Blonde Life Blog. And please look at my blog, crazyblondelife.com.